Hello, my name is David McGee. I'm the owner of Tamesium Extractors, Inc. I created the first pump-based butane extractor in 2001, evolving later into a pump-free system. If you are using an extractor or looking for more information about extractors, then this intro to how they evolved and what they can do was created for you. Most of the extractors you see being sold by dozens of companies are called closed-loop extractors. There are extractors and then there are closed-loop extractors. There are also pump-driven versions of these extractors and pump-free versions called passive extractors. After creating the pump-based closed-loop process, I later evolved away from it because it was riddled with problems. I evolved into a pump-free process after discovering greater performance and a safer way to manage the flammable solvents required to efficiently extract non-polar oils and polar chemicals from plants. Safety pushed me into that direction, but higher performance kept me there. So if you are asking, how much controller performance do I have to trade for safety? You don't have to worry about sacrificing anything. On the contrary, you gain everything, including control performance and safety. A pump-based looping process eliminates these controls and should have never been allowed in the first place. The only benefit a pump-based looping process gives is to the manufacturer. Three benefits to be precise. One, they purchase small volume tanks that do not hold an adequate amount of solvent, which is what forces the operator to recover and loop the solvent through the plant matter countless times in an effort to completely extract everything from the plant. Looping takes time, adds unnecessary components and hazards. Instead of customizing a system to perform well, they choose to purchase less expensive off-the-shelf narrow tanks that don't evaporate solvent fast enough to make solvent recovery possible without a recovery pump. The added time and slower evaporation leave them with little option but to add this pump to speed up the process. And finally, to reduce cost even further, the tanks are clamped together with gasket seals rather than welded. These three reductions in cost and limitations define a pump-based closed-loop extractor and were great during development, but only unsuspecting new extraction companies would purchase them. And that is just what is happening in today's fast-growing extraction industry. Why do they do this? Because it costs more and requires much more complex knowledge to build high-performance pump-free systems. Reducing cost is the only way to compete with a superior process. A visible reference on what to build combined with a lack of experience in building extractors allowed them a luxury you cannot afford. In the end, you pay the price in never-ending maintenance and equipment cost combined with a lack of speed, performance, and safety. There is also another limitation involving safety. These less expensive parts use a different type of seal that will not hold up to the solvents and pressures used in a lab. This type of seal was made for dairy and other consumable liquids. It is in the seal design where the seal fails, not the material. The repeated failure of those seals created the single most important reason that led us away from these off-the-shelf parts. This forced us to begin building custom systems over a decade ago. If we had to change the seal to make it safe, we may as well customize the whole system to reduce cost, be safe, pump-free, and far more controllable. What we were not sure of was if the customers were willing to pay more for safety, higher performance, and more control. Was there even a market out there? We were the first, and that carried some concern for our success. On the other hand, we knew what the process did for our extraction business. Well, we have been selling and using this process for 15 years now, and with thousands of systems sold and 100% customer satisfaction, I think the answer is yes. We have a saying at Tamesium. Our happiest customers are the ones that have experience using any other extractor. Well, now that we got who is who out of the way, let's get into what and why. Please join me in our next video in a series of videos titled, What You Need to Know Before Buying an Extractor. Until then, please contact us by email, phone, or visit our website to learn more.